I think we have a pretty easy agenda today. You can go ahead and get started. Um, running down the list of upcoming stuff. Uh, we have the Tools Update Viewer uh, on its way through the pipeline. Should be out very early next week. Didn't quite get it time done in time to get it out before the week before the weekend. But um, as far as we know, that's coming along well. Um, Viewer Managed Marketplace has got some issues that they're working on on the back end. Uh, don't expect any changes there for some time. Um, I, I'm not going to try to predict that time. Uh, experiences continues. We're continuing to do work on the back end, making sure that we're sufficiently robust and so forth for rolling that out full bore. Um, there are no, as far as I know, there are no viewer changes anticipated there. So that branch is just waiting. Uh, the hover, the avatar hover viewer, uh, we're still working on a couple of the bugs found during the testing, but we think that that's better. Veer, do we, do you have any more detailed update than that? Guess not. Oh. His viewer just crashed. <laughs> Fun. Um, uh, let me see. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll we'll give him another shot when he gets back. Um, uh, group chat. We're continuing to roll and test changes on the back end. We're feeling pretty good about it these days. Um, no, I haven't declared victory yet, but it's it's uh, it's looking a lot more stable. Um, if I may say yeah, something yeah. about it now rather than later, um, the past week or so, uh, we've stopped noticing those fifteen minutes where the group chat just totally dies. Uh, but we, what we are experiencing in the past little while, and like within the past week, we were actually discussing this in our support meeting, is we're finding that uh, there, there's periods of uh, two minutes or so when some posts won't go through at all, uh, and you don't get a notice that they're not going through. Uh, other ones go through but are delayed, and it's not spewing the uh, back chatter like it was when we were down for like 15 minutes or so. Just yeah, so well, that you well, know what changes, we're seeing. Right. One of the changes we made is that if a message has not been delivered for, I, I don't remember what the number is, but if it's been, if it's gotten too old, we just throw it away. Um, and, and that's, it's, it's several minutes. Um, so, to prevent the problem of the system unwedges itself and then everybody gets spammed by a zillion messages. Um, I, the, the assumption is that if it's more than a few minutes old, it's basically no longer interesting. Um, I hadn't heard about the, the performance, you know, the, the, the slowdown. So I'll have to go back and look at the charts again and see if we've perhaps introduced something, something there. Uh, Veer, I was just um, seeing if you had anything more detailed to say about this. How soon we'll have the hover, um, mostly leg position issues, right? Uh, yeah, there's one uh, issue I know of with leg position. I don't really have an ETA on that. It's just a question of figuring out what's going on, which I've uh, been working on kind of intermittently. The other thing I've been doing lately is uh, working on the attachment reliability stuff. I understand there was quite a bit of discussion about that last week, so uh, we could also uh, catch up on that at some point if anybody's interested. Uh, but basically, yeah, Hover, it's just, just dependent on tracking down the, the remaining issue. Right, right. 
Um, so the attachment stuff, there, there is a viewer coming that will have a bunch of fixes for that. That's not ready to, ready to go out yet. Um, but fear is working on it. Um, and, uh, we have found some issues with that are AIS three related, um, uh, and some race conditions uh, that could produce attachment failures. So he's slugging away at that. And when we've got something to test, we'll, we'll put it out. Uh, and we'll actually, it's one of those things where, uh, we haven't always had as much luck reproducing some of these things as, as other people have. So we'll, we'll appreciate external testing on that too. We'll, we'll be uh, glad to get as many people on it as we can. Yeah. Um, I was, yeah. Um, I was mentioning the group chat issue. I'm also seeing some issues with notices not being posted. When and when going through groups and things, they're not coming through sometimes. So it seems like it's a problem related to the group chat now. Uh, I, I believe that's an entirely separate system, but I, I'd have to, I'd have to look into it. Thank you, Austin. Um, we do have we do have some uh, cosmetic improvements to notice displays coming but they're not they're not out yet uh, so let's see uh other things um just um on the on the tools update viewer um i've basically drawn a line under the changes we're gonna try to do and we're gonna try and get that into the release candidate pipeline and get it out. Um, there's a lot of, uh, there are a lot of other very interesting changes queued up behind those that further improve the build situation. Um, many of them open source contributions, a few that we've generated internally. Um, and so uh, I, I will have a, a, a build cleanup viewer um, at some point down the road in some number of weeks we'll we'll sort of do another round of making things better for for viewer builders um, so if you don't see the changes you've been submitting uh, in the current viewer tools update it's not because we've forgotten about them or decided not to do them it's just that we got to the point where we had so much done and some things working that we just decided it was time to time to get them out. Um, we can build with this tool chain. We can produce viewers. It's better for us if we get that much out there and then we can standardize the tools on all the development branches. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, there are, I, I, I imagine there there are quite a few. We're gonna we're gonna try to we're gonna try to narrow the differences further between open source builds and and uh, internal builds. In fact, I, ideally, I'd like to get it to the point where the only difference is whether or not you turn on the use proprietary switch. Um, in which case we might want to actually eliminate the distinction in the in the configurations and just say if you're building it outside linden lab use dash dash use proprietary equals false um, it'd be great if we could get to that point um, so let's see uh other things that we had on the agenda anything I think that's all the updates I have for you today. Um, that's the tools update viewer, the VS 2013. Okay, do we have a jar on that one? So that, or not a jar, but a wiki on that one? 
So we can say how to start setting there, up the build with 20, there is. Uh, hang on just a second. I will find the page. Um. Uh, it looks like Jonathan put it out. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you, Jonathan. So that's, yeah, that's, that's for Windows, right? Um, on on the Mac, it's even easy. We we basically didn't change much other than auto build on the uh, on Linux. Um, you just have to start is installing and using the auto build from the Bitbucket.org Linden Lab auto build dash one point oh repository, um, and. On the Mac, it's basically install Xcode 6.1, install CMake, install auto build, and I think that's all you need, and, and then just auto build build. Um, oh, you have you need the um, Xcode uh, command line tools. That's an optional install. With this, with the wiki that we're seeing, is this for Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 10 that's fixing to come out? It works on Windows 7 and anything later than that. Anything newer than that? I, as far as I know, I, I, we do our builds on Windows 7, so that's that's what I know works. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Thank Ty. you. Um, I actually actually managed it yesterday on a on a virtual machine on my uh, with it inside my Mac. That was pretty cool. A little slow. Um, okay, so uh, other topics. The floor is open. Uh, I have already pestered um, them, uh, the tools folks about that, and I am delighted to say that some of the tools people were also watching the issue and aware of the fix. So um, I hopefully that will get fixed at some point soon. Um, the team is pretty busy with other internal changes, but... Uh, yeah, that's it's, an irritating bug. It's showing Windows 10.64, and I'm on Windows 8. So it's actually showing Windows 10 on a Windows 8 system. Okay. All right. So what, what was the question, Tank? I didn't quite hear that.
uh, yeah, it would be it would be good to update that. Gee, have we run out of topics? We can... Jessica's not here, what can I say, Oz? We can call it a day. Well, this would have to actually be the shortest meeting I think has happened. Wait, Jonathan has one. You just jinxed it by saying it was going to be the shortest. <laughs> okay, Ed, you can just consider that I'm filling in for Jessica. Um, no, no news on... SL voice for Linux. Um. <laughs> uh, what about animation interfaces, Oz? Has there been anything done on that since that was a no. topic that was on hold? No, not not yet. Um, that's it, that that didn't didn't quite make it up to the up above the line on the uh, on the roadmap planning for this year. So or, or for this, we we basically have got a roadmap plan for. The first half of this year that's not that's not on it uh, doesn't mean we've forgotten about it we haven't but uh, and anything going on with the number of layers uh, I think we'll do something about that at some point this year but we haven't gotten to it yet. Um, we, we recognize the problem that that'll probably get some attention soon yeah, actually, I was still, there was something mentioned about Havoc just now, and I was actually wondering if there was anything on a Havoc build for, or a Havoc for 64. Is there, has there been anything done with that? We, we will do that if we do a 64-bit viewer ourselves, and otherwise we won't. Oh, come on, Oz, y'all need, need to do a 64-bit build. Uh, I, I believe you. But, you know, there's only so much time that I can get allocated to doing things that don't directly map to, you know, some new feature. Uh, just making the infrastructure better is, is, is a good thing, and, and I get to do a certain amount of it, but I can't spend all our time on it. And I've just spent a whole bunch of time, more than we predicted, and on getting the tools upgraded. Um, I I will the beginning of next month, so next week, I will do another round of stats gathering. So we'll we'll see what happens with that. I think that was your answer, Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do another I'll do another round of stats.
Um, whether or not we'll do a server side havoc update um, is TBD. It's not. It's not on the uh, not on the short term roadmap. Road but um. well, it it might it might yield nice performance improvements. Uh, I'm sure Havoc would tell us that it probably would, um, but it would also mean a whole new crop of bugs, some of which would be workarounds that didn't work anymore, um, which is not to say it's not worth doing someday, but it's not one of the pain points we're, we're trying to solve for right now. Prioritization. That's what it's all about. Go pick your targets. Yep, pick your battles. We're, we're going to try and make various things better, but we can't make everything better. Not yet. Um, Sovereign, weren't weren't you going to give me a patch for the memory bloat caused by avatar icons? I haven't seen that yet. Ah, okay. I guess the only uh, other thing that I'd have would be for Veer. And uh, just uh, let us know when you've got uh, something you want tested with the attachments or with the hover, and we'll be uh, more than happy to get as many people on it as we can. Okay, yeah, sounds great. We'll uh, let you know as soon as we have something. The only other thing I have is the Mesh Importer Viewer, which is getting an update and going out next week. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we're going to... Call it? Call it Yay. a little early this, this time. Half an hour plus back? Bonus. Oh, Jonathan's got the one question in text. Yeah, I, Jonathan's been asking somebody to tell Oz that he needs to read local. So. It's on my um, to-do list for the year. Dude, we, we need to make that part of one of your quarterly goals, Grumpy? Yeah, I think we might. Um, the trouble is that the normal Linden onboarding process kind of got um, swallowed up by the last six years when I didn't get to make a Linden day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Hi, Oz. Thanks, Oz. And uh, I'll catch you all later. Oof.